The Celtics post game live presented by your New England Ford dealers and Ford trucks. Eddie House, Amina Smith here with you. The Celtics lose to the Oklahoma City Thunder 150 to 117. The most points allowed by the Celtics since 1970. Eddie, what the heck did we watch tonight? Uh, we, wa we watched a good old spanking. That's what we watched. We watched a good old whooping right there. That's, that's all it was. There's no other way to look at it. And, and, you know, everybody was asking, you know, Jim, was that, what's another word for Molly Whopping? I guess just a whooping. But, I mean, <laughs> it don't get worse than Molly Whopping. We got Molly Whop tonight. The OKC Thunder came out there, played harder, had more energy, played with more force, played with more effort, played together, and acted like they wanted to win the game. And, that were, and, we, and we were the recipient of all that energy that they had. Oklahoma City, they had seven players finish in double figures, and they had a 20-point lead at halftime. Eddie, let's go back to that first half. What were the Celtics lacking in that first half that OKC took advantage of? What well, wasn't they lacking? I think they was lacking everything. Like, you know, we, we, we want to come on here. We want to be for real. Like, let's not sugarcoat anything. Or I just think that we got our play. It was one of those games where – Everything across the board, energy, effort, uh, hustle plays, uh, you know, 50-50 balls, it didn't matter what it was, OKC was coming up with it. Putting pressure on the paint, they put pressure on the paint. They got buckets in the paint. They got threes. They got open threes. They created shots. They created turnovers. They forced turnovers. It's like they did whatever they wanted to do, and that's the reason why you see what the score looked like. I mean – it's one of these games where you're watching it, it's like, okay, for, for real, this is real. What, what I was thinking, I, I, I'm watching, I'm like, how do I try to spin this, right? How could I spin this in a positive light? And it, you can't. You know, it's one of them games. It's just like you got to tip your cap off and say, hey, man, they had it. But what we can say is this. Celtics, this cannot happen. If you are wanting to be a championship team and have championship aspirations, these – Games cannot happen. And if it is, it better be a one-off. This can't be something that is, it, we get accustomed to this. You know, we can be like, okay, yeah, it happened like, I remember back in on January 3rd when it happened against, okay, when we're talking in March, we can't have that. It, this has to be a one-off. And there was really no excuse for the Celtics. They had two days rest. And I mentioned in our pregame show that they were one and six when they have two days rest. Now they're one and seven. What does it say that the Celtics, they were able to get beat like this without Shea Gilgis Alexander on the floor, who's one of the top five scorers in the NBA right now? I was calling for a team meeting a few games back, like on the West Coast trip. And we righted the ship and we ended up winning. But I still didn't like how things when I want to say after the Clipper game, I was like, you know, it might be time for a team meeting. Well, if they have one, they might have another one, you know, and it's okay. You can have more than one team meetings in a season, but you cannot lose like this to this type of team period. You can't lose like this to whoever you playing, mm. but especially a team like this without their main guy, who's out there averaging 30, you cannot lose like this. This, it, it just, it shows me that they play to the level of their competition too much and they, they don't come in with the folk because you can't come and play Milwaukee on Christmas the way you played them and ball out against a team like that and then come against, and this is no slight against the players on OKC, but we all know that the Oklahoma City Thunder is not the Milwaukee Bucks. And then you come out here and play like this. It just... I, I, you know, if you have championship aspirations, you better get it together because this is not the, 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 the traits of a championship team. I'm sorry. That's just the truth. Eddie, reality. Eddie, Eddie is right. He's spot on. Let's bring in Scal right now who's live out in Oklahoma City. And Scal, Eddie brought up a good point. He says that the Celtics team, that they have championship aspirations. They should be dominating a team like the Oklahoma City Thunder who are at the bottom of the Western Conference. What was your biggest takeaway after this performance tonight? Whew. Biggest takeaway that it's hard when you're the when you're the number one team and you're the team everyone's picking to win it all. It's like not that life is a tough life with guys circling that game on your calendar and you're pushing every single day because today was the Celtics got punched in the mouth and they tried to respond and Thunder just kept coming and coming and coming and kept driving and if you you play defense for 18 seconds 
Then they drive again. Then they kick it. Then they drive again. They get a shot, and you get deflated, and you come down and take a first shot jumper, and it's it's tough when people are coming at you, and that's just the way the NBA is. That's why, that's why like, when we start talking about some all-time greats, the Jordans of the world, the Bradys, the Birds, the, the Magics, the Kobe, the Shaq, like, those guys were getting it every night, and those guys were delivering every night. It's a different animal when you are on top of the world and teams are circling and bringing their families in and they're saying, yo, we got the Celtics tonight. You're going to watch the show that we're going to put on. That's not an easy place to be. And as Eddie said, like, you have championship aspirations. You have to understand that these teams are doing – this is their Super Bowl when they come out here and play. I mean, you know about the Super Bowl. This is a Super Bowl. <laughs> I sure do. And, uh, you, uh, go ahead, Eddie. The scout was like, whoo, when you asked him that question, he said, whoo, you still smelling that boo-boo that they laid out there? Because that's what the Celtics look like tonight. Straight Stanky up boo-boo. And, and it's, it's, it's okay. You know, I, I'm still, you know, I, I bleed green. And it, but that's what it was like tonight. Watching that was, it was an eyesore. You know, especially with the talent and the ability that we have to play night in and night out, to watch them go out there and lay that type of egg. Yeah, it smelled like boo-boo. And I feel you, scared. Woo! You went, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm about to pinch my nose right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it definitely was not something that you wanted to see for the Celtics out there on the court. But the Oklahoma City Thunder, they were constantly moving the ball. They constantly were out there with plenty of energy. Scal, why was that the key for OKC without Shea Gilgis Alexander in this game? I mean, that's – but they play like that. I mean, whether SGA plays or doesn't play, they lead the, uh, the NBA in drives. It's not like the Celtics don't know this. If I know this, they know this. Like, all they do is deck the ball, put your head down, drive close out. So, you know it's coming, but when you have to do it, it's like there's a, there's a certain edge that you have to take, and you got to do it for 24 seconds, and that was a problem. So, what happened in this game – you know, they kind of like, all right, we're going to ease into this game. And Oklahoma City started getting a couple easy baskets, moving the ball. Then you say, all right, we're going to play some defense. And then all of a sudden, they do it for 20 seconds. And you got to play defense and do that over and over again. And then we come down on the other end, take a first pass jumper. Now Oklahoma City does it again for another 20 seconds. That's going to wear you out. That's that's type, that's the type where you have to ask yourself, man, like this this might not be our night. And that's how you get Oklahoma City with all the confidence in the world knocking down the threes, which are not a great three-point shooting team. And then us just kind of playing on our heels until that fourth quarter.